Hi, Gary Stearman. It's my pleasure to join you again today, and this uh, program is going to be very, very special. Today's update uh, is going to be devoted to our new magazine, The Prophecy Watcher. And by the way, the uh, designer of said magazine is sitting just to my left, and his name is Daniel Wright, and I want to introduce him to all of you because Daniel is going to join uh, the Prophecy Watchers as a content designer. And welcome, Daniel. It's good to Thank have you Thank you, Gary. Here. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you very much, Bob. And, uh, Thanks so much. Daniel, good to see you again. Good to be here. Now, Daniel, uh, we've known each other for years. I've known you as a, uh, a, a commercial artist, I guess, and I've always admired your work. Thank you, you. You have something that I don't have at all. It's an eye for putting things on paper. That's a great talent. But you've also uh, got some personal interests, which we're going to tap into from time to time. You and I are both interested in archaeology. You are particularly interested in the archaeology of Israel, and you've followed that for years. Tell us about that. Well, I became a Christian a little over 30 years ago, and uh, at that time I made a trip to Israel and spent 57 days in the country wow. nonstop. No tour guide. I was traveling with a companion, and uh, when you spend two months in Israel, and it was 1981, so the country was not nearly as developed as it is now. But anyway, uh, the Lord used that to change my perspective. I mean, it completely, I don't know, expanded my Christian understanding to be in Israel. And yeah. We rec recently spent uh, time with Daniel in Israel, and uh, by the way, that was eye-opening for me. One of the things that I, uh, I saw in Israel, close up, and, and you can only really uh, uh, understand dimension when you're actually standing in the right. middle of something. This, at least that's my experience. And standing in the middle of the Temple Mount and then going down toward the city of David, you get an idea of the space and your mind goes back to the temple and the temple that once stood on that platform or did it. <laughs> There's a big argument today about where the temple was, and, and you've, true. Uh, you've expressed a lot of interest in that. Tell us about what's going on. Well, there, there are at least three theories about where the temple may have stood on the Temple Mount, the tr what they call the traditional Temple Mount, the Haram al-Sharif, up there where the Dome of the Rock is now. Three different positions. And there's an additional uh, theory that's not entirely new. It's probably about 15 or maybe 20 years old. Uh, that suggests that the temple may have been down by the Gihon Spring, south of the Temple Mount, in the city of David. Um, I personally don't subscribe to that. I don't think there's enough evidence to, to validate that viewpoint. But you're going to be following that for us, along I am. with recent news out of the, uh, uh, the Jerusalem Temple Institute. And a lot is, uh, is boiling and, and, and working its way to the surface lately there. That's true. Uh, the uh, former director, Chaim Richman, recently uh, complained about this alternative suggestion that the temple may have been down in the city of David, um, as if the Jews, uh, this is almost a quote, as if the Jews had lost track of where their own temple had been. Well, it's going to be interesting. And More Daniel uh, is going to be a regular uh, content designer. That's, that's his title, by the way. Uh, he's a graphic artist. He's an artist. The, the cover here, premier edition of The Prophecy Watcher, uh, is, well, we're all very excited about it. We're excited about the, the articles upcoming. We're excited about the design. We're excited about the potential. And we haven't been ignoring Bob Ulrich. He's sitting over there at Daniel's left, and I'm going to turn this whole thing over to, to Bob Ulrich because, Bob, we've been talking about the charter subscription for a while now, and we're very excited about the reaction that we've had. Tell us about that a little bit. Well, I'm enjoying the conversation between you two guys. Just listening in is kind of a, a third party. Uh, you know, what's interesting about Daniel to me is, is Daniel certainly is a gifted graphic designer, uh, we view him as an incredible asset that the Lord has brought to us, uh, but he's much more than a graphic designer. He's a budding author who has a book underway. I do. Uh, he has a love for Israel, unlike anyone that I've known personally. Uh, you could you see it in everything he does. He's actually going to be contributing articles for the publication every month about the land of Israel, which excites me because you know one of the things about the trip to Israel 
everything is always so rushed when you go somewhere, deadlines to meet, <clears throat> that when you get there, I didn't really do the preparation I really wanted to about all of the places in Israel we visited. And one of the things Daniel is going to be bringing out is information on each of those places and what happened. What happened on the Sea of Galilee? What happened in all these different places that uh, we went on the tour? When, what happened at Shiloh where the tabernacle was? And all these different biblical events. And I think writing almost like a travelogue experience is really going to enhance the publication. You know, for the last uh, month or so since we launched the Charter magazine, uh, it has just been an explosion here at Prophecy Watchers to the point where we're just having very uh, great difficulty keeping up with even entering all the subscriptions. It's, it's mind-blowing. <clears throat> but I have to tell you something. We're offering a lifetime subscription. My wife walked into the studio this morning and she looked at me and she said, we just had a phone call from a woman. And she just found Gary on the internet. She just found Prophecy Watchers. And she called here to the ministry and said, Gary, I thought you were gone forever. I didn't know where you went. I just found your ministry and your television program. And now I've discovered you have a magazine. And if that wasn't enough, you're offering me a lifetime subscription. And I kind of <laughs> laughed. And then Chrissy continued the story. And she said, she says, well, I just want to let you know that she said that back in the early 1980s, there was a publication called The Sword of the Lord. And back in the early 80s, they offered a lifetime subscription for $100. And she said, and I'm still getting it today. Well, it made me laugh, and then it kind of sent a chill down my spine. And I thought, <laughs> we're offering a lifetime subscription. 1980, let me think, that's 35 years ago? Mm -hmm. And she's still getting the publication for a $100 offering. Anyway, you could be looking at the bargain of the lifetime. On the other hand, the Lord could take us out of here in the next five minutes. You know, it's something that we don't know for sure. But what we do have today is a charter subscription, a lifetime subscription for a one-time tax-deductible donation of $100, which I view as the deal of a lifetime. Now, why don't you talk a little bit about the content of this magazine, some of the people who are actually going to be contributing on a regular basis, not every month, but from time to time, like the first article, the first issue of the magazine, Gary? When we think of our uh, uh, ministry here at Prophecy Watchers as <clears throat> upholding a, a very basic set of standards. Uh, it's a set of standards that goes back, Bob, 150 years or more. Uh, starting in the, in the 19th century when, when uh, biblical commentators began to write that Israel was going to come back to the land. <laughs> and starting with Darby and, and Schofield and, and George Wygram and many, many others back then. And then coming up through Arno Gabeline and uh, Louis Sperry Chafer and, and uh, John F. Walvoord and, and, and on and on and on. Men, uh, carried the standard of what they came to call dispensationalism. Well, I'm still a dispensationalist. And the reason I am is because it explains what's happening today. Israel actually did come back to the land. And Paul wrote that at the end of the dispensation of grace, <clears throat> that's exactly what would happen. And so all of these men ha have over the years laid the foundation which we uh, intend to build upon. In other words, we're not running out with anything brand new. We're building on the foundation uh, of uh, great men of the Bible who have said that we are approaching the very last of the last days. And why? Because Israel is back, just as prophesied. That's huge, and yes. people overlook it, Daniel. I mean, you know that, and I know it. Yeah, it's amazing to me. Obviously, people who are critical of, of Bible prophecy at all will right. tell you, well, people have been predicting this forever. And it, well, maybe they were, but they were ignoring the fact that Israel was not back in their land. And when they finally did in 48 and gained sovereignty of Jerusalem in 67, then a lot of the the puzzle pieces really began to congeal and Absolutely. they continue to do so. so. Well, in, in uh, this particular magazine, you're going to read uh, articles, you're, you're going to see uh, commentaries, you're going to read about news items of prophetic interest. 
Uh, and it's all going to be put together, composed in such a way that it's going to be just a joy to read. And by the way, uh, the magazine will also offer the latest in uh, Christian publications for your interest. So it'll, it'll be a one-stop information center, Bob. That's the way I see it. Right now, we're just offering the charter subscription. There's going to become a point in the near future, coming soon, where we will have a regular uh, annual subscription. The cost of it is still yet to be fully determined, but I can tell you it's, it's going to be a bargain. We're going to keep the price just as low as we possibly can. We want as many people as possible to get this publication. The dollars and cents should not stand in the way of the information. Reason being, we actually do believe we're living in the last days. Yes. Uh, L.A. Morzulli has a new book coming out called Days of Chaos. He couldn't come up with a better description for the world that has exists today. I mean, we sit around and we talk about these things off the record and shake our heads and, and say, are we really living in the time we've been waiting for? for many of us, almost our entire lives. Here we are, Israel's back in the land, they're surrounded by their enemies. We've got ISIS, we've got countries falling, despots falling. We have financial collapse that appears to be on the horizon. We've got guys like Bill Salas, Mark Biltz and the Blood Moons, Jonathan Kahn and the Shemitah Cycles, all these things coming together in a convergence where we, we really do believe we're living in those days that Jesus talked about the days right before the rapture of the church and, and his eventual return. Bob, it's exciting to contemplate this. I know that Bob Ulrich, I know that, that Daniel Wright, I know that I believe in the reality of the risen Christ. Amen. God's real. He is not silent. He speaks every day. His Son is real and by the way is coming back very soon and I, and I would hope that you would pay attention to that fact and this regulates everything we do Bob the reality of of the Christian idea the reality of the Christian experience and you know what the Lord is lighting the pathway here for us and when we look at where we started 10 months ago literally with nothing 10 months later we sit in this beautiful building fully paid television studio and fully furnished office building. One by one, the Lord has brought people into our lives and into this ministry to help us build the team. Daniel is the latest addition. He is an incredible asset for Prophecy Watchers. This is the best way that I can put it. When you see some of the things that we're going to be doing together in the days and weeks and months ahead, things that we've talked about uh, off the record that we're not prepared to talk about yet, but there's a lot of things in the works that having a talented content designer, as we call him. Uh, Daniel's more than a content designer. He, he's a guy that loves Bible prophecy. He's a guy that loves Israel. And you know when you're putting a magazine together, imagine trying to put a prophecy magazine together without a Christian behind it. That's true. Yeah. Choosing the pictures, choosing the articles, dealing with some of the relationships. Uh, it just makes it so much better to have somebody who's of like faith and like mind helping out. Now, Bob, the charter subscription to The Prophecy Watcher is going to continue for a while. Make, make that a little bit more clear. <laughs> well, I do need to make that clear. Originally, we had a cutoff date of July 31st, and then we were so overwhelmed with so many people, and it just hasn't stopped. It, it is like a fire hydrant, and it just keeps coming. And we decided to extend it out to August 30th. And then we started thinking our magazine is going to be in people's mailboxes on September 1st, and they're going to miss the opportunity. They're going to see an ad in the magazine for the charter subscription. Those people shouldn't be shut out. Yeah. So what we've decided to do, we've set a firm deadline. It's not going to change, Lord willing. September 30th is going to be the outside date. That'll give everyone an entire month to get the magazine and to make sure they get their subscription in place before we close down the charter subscription and convert over to a regular annual subscription. Makes sense. Well spoken. Yeah. I, I can understand every word. So, yeah. so if I could, I think our audience can as well. Again, it's the Prophecy Watcher, and uh, our content designer uh, is Daniel Wright. And Daniel, uh, thanks for doing this. We I'm, appreciate I'm it. very excited. Thank We're you for all the opportunity. very excited because we live in exciting times. You know, uh, it's, it's difficult to restrain yourself when you see all the signs coming together, Bob. I mean, and we see so many signs. 
and yet we're not going to name a date. <laughs> we always restrain ourselves. No man knows the day or the hour. No man knows the day or the That's hour, right. but it can't be far away. Thanks, guys. I appreciate talking with you, and uh, we'll see you again very yes, soon. Yes, you will. All right. Daniel Wright. I'm Gary Stearman. You know, these are very special days, so keep watching, everybody. We are. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com or follow us at facebook.com slash prophecywatchers. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.